Hi everyone, in this video from Count Backwards from 10, we're going to take a look at what happens when you add bicarbonate to a local anesthetic and why. So before we get into the bicarbonate additive, we need to quickly review the biochemistry of the local anesthetic and the cell membrane, and we need to define some of the terms that we're going to use when discussing it. So first is an acid, and this is a molecule that donates protons. And then we have a base, and that's a molecule that accepts protons. Next, the pH, which is the negative log of the concentration of hydrogen ions. So really, it's just a value that denotes how many protons are floating around. The lower the pH, the more protons, the more acid present in the solution. The pKa is the pH or the concentration of hydrogen ions in a solution at which the number of charged molecules is the same as the number of uncharged molecules. Or in scientific terms, it's the pH at which we are half ionized. Again, meaning half of our molecules are charged, one half uncharged. And then the last thing we need to define or redefine is hydrogen bonding. So hopefully people remember this, and it's what water undergoes. And so if you have an oxygen molecule here attached to a hydrogen and a hydrogen, and this is one water molecule, and you have another here, and we have another here. So because oxygen is more electronegative, more electronegative, it pulls electrons towards it. So its overall charge is a little bit more negative and the hydrogen is a little bit more positive. And the same thing happens with all these molecules here and here and here and here, here and here. And what you get is this negative to positive charge that happens between the hydrogen ions and the oxygen uh, molecules of water. And this leads to hydrogen bonding. So now that we've defined our terms, we can look at our local anesthetic. And over here on the left, uh, I've drawn the chemical structure of lidocaine. A, and we need to remember that local anesthetics are weak bases. And like we defined before, a base is something that accepts protons. Now, this nitrogen group over here is the nitrogen group responsible for accepting that proton. And that ends up giving lidocaine an overall positive charge at baseline when kept in an acidic solution, which is how our lidocaine is packaged. So again, at baseline, our lidocaine, our, our nitrogen group here, picks up that extra proton because it's stored in an acidic solution. And it winds up being charged. We'll arbitrarily say 70 or 80% of it is charged and 30 or 20% of it is uncharged. But the point is it's in a pH at which most of the molecules of lidocaine have this extra proton and therefore are in a charged state at baseline. Now, something we have to be aware of is the pKa, which I'll write down here, of lidocaine is about 8. Okay. Now, when a molecule is ionized, meaning that it has a charge, it is more soluble in water because the charged nature of it allows it to interact with the water molecules that are undergoing hydrogen bonding because of the minute charges amongst the individual molecules. Uncharged molecules, on the other hand, do not interact so well with the hydrogen bonding and are less soluble. Now, I'm going to go ahead and erase all of this over here because we need the space to talk about this next part. So hopefully we all remember back to biochemistry where we learned about our phospholipid bilayer and that's the bilayer that makes up the cell membrane. And I'll go ahead and draw these here and we'll put their little tails in. And remember that the blue part, the tails, these are 
hydrophobic. And the heads here are hydrophilic or water loving, which is why they're able to be exposed to the aqueous solution both on the inside of the cell and on the outside of the cell. Now it's this reason that since the hydrophilic tails don't like water, and part of that reason is that since they're not charged, uncharged molecules pass through this hydrophobic tail, the lipid bilayer, better than charged molecules. So if we were to just inject our lidocaine solution as is, it doesn't penetrate through the lipid bilayer as easily because most of it is in a charged form. I'm going to go ahead and denote lido out here, charged, lido, charged, lido, charged. This is where the bicarbonate additive comes in. Now, if you remember nothing else from this video, remember that adding bicarb, add bicarb, increases rate of onset of block. It increases the speed with which the block will start working, okay? If you remember nothing else, remember that. And here's why it increases the speed. So for starters, um, let's get rid of this. For starters, the bicarb is concentrated so that it is more basic than lidocaine. So that means its pH is lower. Therefore, when you mix lidocaine with the bicarbonate, the lidocaine ends up becoming the acid relative to the bicarb. So lido becomes acid relative to bicarb. And we defined this earlier, and this causes the lidocaine molecule to go from having a positive charge on that nitrogen molecule to being neutral charge because it gives up that proton to the bicarbonate because it acts as the acid relative to the bicarb. So by increasing the pH of the lidocaine towards its pKa, so pH lido towards its pKa, we are now increasing the number of uncharged molecules. So before we said that it was maybe 70-30, but now we're closer to 50-50, meaning that we have 50 charged and 50 uncharged instead of 70 charged and 30 uncharged. And like we said, it's better at passing through the cell membrane if it's uncharged and so since we have more uncharged molecules as we approach the pKa, more lidocaine molecules are able to pass through the cell membrane as we get rid of their charge here and get into the cell. So once the uncharged molecule is able to pass through the cell membrane, it enters inside, it then experiences an environment that is physiologic, a pH of 7.4, and now that's the acid compared to lidocaine. This leads to the environment then donating a proton to the lidocaine molecule, causing it to then be charged again. And the charged form of the molecule is what's responsible for acting on the receptor. Charged lido acts on receptor. Very important to remember. And that's it. So adding bicarbonate to our local anesthetic will increase the speed of onset of the block by increasing the amount of uncharged local anesthetic available, making it easier and faster for it to pass through the cell membrane and make it to the site of action. That's all for adding bicarb to our local anesthetic. If you have any questions or concerns, please feel free to contact us. Subscribe below. Otherwise, stay tuned for the next video.